What is going on guys, Kevin Clutch here, and today I am back with some more Minecraft. This is my Minecraft Survival Let's Play, if you're wondering. Uh, I'm getting close to level, not level 50, wow. Uh, episode 50, and today's Friday, so I'm like, you know, chill Friday, upload some Minecraft, and get one episode closer to episode 50, which is going to be crazy. So, yeah, let's just get right into it. Last time, we were working on the... Just the overall town, but I guess really most of all the uh, stone bricks. So I'm just going to continue to do that, talk about stuff for a little bit. Um, the snapshot just came out, the new, the newest snapshot for Minecraft. I don't know what it is, I don't really follow the snapshot names and whatnot. But I do know the newest one came out and I was watching videos on it. And... There's a lot of big changes, and I mean a lot. And they're really big changes too. They're not just like little things. They really they really change stuff up on us. On us Minecraft hipsters. And uh, by that I mean the sound. The sound of the game. Like the way I'm walking right now. Let me see, I'm grass. You hear, you hear the sound of the grass, how it doesn't really sound real. Because I don't, I've never heard grass sound like that when you're walking on it um so what they were really trying to do i'm gonna guess is they were trying to make it sound more realistic obviously that's probably what they were hoping to do and i don't like it and i don't know about you guys but i don't know if you'll if you like it either but i really don't like it i'm just gonna throw my stuff in here and that's good i think yeah, I'll take that. Actually, I already have a stack. Yeah, I'll leave all that. So, as I was saying, um, they really changed the sound up. And they really tried to make the sound really realistic. Which is okay. But, it's too realistic for me. And if you haven't seen any videos on it, uh, I would suggest going to look look it up. I'm not going to make any, so don't expect any from me. But I would go look them up. There's a bunch of people that have videos on it. Uh, just go and check out what the sound is like, and you'll see what I'm talking about. They really tried to make the sound just way too realistic, and it's, eh, I mean, to me at least, it's not good. Um, like they, they have this whole philosophy, I mean, they haven't, they haven't said, it. it's like Notch comes out and goes like, oh, our philosophy is, uh, make the game really graphically bad. Uh, but that's really what they're trying to do, well, what they tried to do, and what they are doing. Um, they say, they try to make the game not look that great, and that's just, it's not because they can't, it's because the point of the game isn't supposed to be the graphics and stuff and all those gamers that say they're gamers but they all, all they care about is the graphics of the game yeah like they were they won't be the ones that that like this game because this is minecraft the graphics don't really mean anything so yeah actually you know what i'm gonna go back to my house uh wherever that is oh it's up here so Actually, I'll, I'll let you guys out. There you go. Just go up here and you can get out. So, yeah. Um, they they make the game look really cartoony and pixely and blockish. Of course, it's Minecraft. Um, and they kind of have that nailed down. Like, no one else tries to compete with them when it comes to making a game about blocks that's really cartoony. You know, like, uh, what was that game? Uh, Fortress Craft. Fortress Craft was just, was the Minecraft version, and, well, the Xbox version of Minecraft. And, uh, it didn't really do so well. You know what the problem was? The problem was that they tried to make the game too realistic. The skins of every block looked, I wouldn't say super realistic, but they looked more realistic, and it just, it just looked weird. And now with the sounds, the sounds when you're walking on grass, it sounds like walking on sand, kind of. A little bit more brushy sounding if that makes sense and 
Or at least for me, since since I'm a Minecraft hipster. Not really, but um, since I've played for a while, to change the sound so drastically, because it really sounds different. Like putting blocks down sounds different, stepping on blocks sounds different, and to change that is like, that's going all out. That's like changing the the music. If they ever change the music and try to add in some different music and take out the, the classic songs that they have in there, then, you know, that just takes out something... Another thing that just takes out the simplicity, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, the game's all simple with the graphics, simple with the with the music, and you know now they try to make the sound really realistic, which isn't their specialty, and that's that's not why people play Minecraft. They don't play to close their eyes and pretend they're running across an actual meadow or something when they're running on grass. They play just to uh, you know, chill out because it's a really simple game, and uh, that's really my opinion on it. I mean, the snapshot didn't have all bad things. I mean, the the, sa the sound probably overall is a good thing. It's just nostalgia talking right now. So, if I sound completely ridiculous, I'm sorry, but you know, it's it is nostalgia. I mean, Minecraft is really it's just one of those games that for years people are going to be talking about. For years people are going to be playing, just like. I mean, I guess really it isn't a great thing to compare it to a game like Mario or Pac-Man because those games are like super classics and um, you don't mess with those games and compare other games to them. Um, but I feel like in 20 years, the next generation of kids, you know, let's say, let's say you watching the video right now, you have kids. I feel like they're going to be playing Minecraft and you, you could be like, Oh, I remember playing that game back back in my day, and they'll be like, "Oh, wow! I'm just playing this to upload to YouTube for a let's play of an old game." I don't know. That that's just really <laughs> that's just my imagination imagination wandering. And um, yeah, I just feel like that's gonna happen, and they shouldn't mess too mess around with it too much because it's it's a very successful formula. But uh, like I said, not everything was bad in the snapshot. There was um, also some pretty cool things that were added. And those are two more mobs. And they are bats and witches. And I feel like they probably just added this in for Halloween. Not just to stay in for Halloween and they're going to take it out. But they added them added it in because by the time the full release of this update comes out, uh, Halloween's going to be around. So um, that's why. I'm assuming. But the bats, as of right now, they're passive mobs that spawn in peaceful mode in caves. Like dark caves or, I don't know, I guess the light level has to be small enough because they're not going to spawn. You can't just say dark cave and assume that that the game's going to know what you're talking about. They have like some sort of a light level. I don't know what it is yet. But I would light up your house if you don't want bats to be spawning in there. Um, I don't know why there's no pumpkins or melons. That's weird. But yeah, the, the bats, they're kind of useless right now. There's really nothing going on with them. But the witches, the witches are, are pretty cool. They're, they look like villagers, but they have witch hats. And, oh yeah, this is for the railroad. I don't know why I should have a ton more stone. I don't know why it's not, I think it's only like 12 in each of them. But anyway, as I was saying, um, I forgot what I was saying. So yeah, I'm actually, I'm not going to take that. Why did I take that? Oh yeah, the witches. The witches look like villagers, but they have like witch hats and big noses that perk up when they're attacking you. And they throw potions and stuff, and they heal themselves. It's pretty cool. I actually like that. That's something I wish they added in a long time ago. Like, all these mobs that they're adding in now. Like, why? The game's been out for almost two years now, and you're just adding in these mobs. Like, there should have been new mobs, like bats, and I don't know about witches, but, um, you know, some sort of an, an air threat. Oh, that was a waste. Um, some sort of an air threat. It should have been in the game a while ago. I don't know why they, why they didn't do it. 
but whatever. One egg, that's all you got for me? Alright, well, I don't have any wheat to breed some more. So, we're gonna head back now. Probably just gonna go and make some more furnaces over there so I don't have to run back and forth. And I don't know if I have coal. I'm probably just gonna bring some coal with me. That'd probably be a good idea. Just to have it anyway, so I don't have to go mine. Or at least not yet. I'm gonna have to go mine eventually. But the uh, witches, uh, like I was saying, um, I'll take half. Pretty cool addition. I wish they would add in some sort of like a water creature, like shark or a sea monster that would attack you when you're in the water. That'd be really cool. I could definitely see swimming through the water, like a big ocean, and all of a sudden a shark comes up behind you. I mean, I know Mo Creatures already has that, but like a sea monster comes up behind you and drags you underwater, that'd be pretty cool. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they'll add that in. We'll see. But I know there's all those, like, light pyramids and everything now. Which, to be honest, I don't even know if... See, I have... This came out, so game mode... Let's see. No, I don't have permission, because I don't have cheats enabled on this world. But, um... Uh, oh, God, what was it? Those light temples, they uh, like they shoot a light up into the sky, and then you get some sort of an ability when you're next to it. That that looks pretty cool. I don't know if that's out yet. I know they changed it a little bit since the last pre-release, but I'm not sure if that's actually in the game yet, because I know the release just came out recently, but I, I forget if that was in the in a full release yet. But Whatever. Um, yeah, there really isn't that much more. I think it was just really the witches and bats and the new sounds that were the biggest part. And I know there's command blocks too, which is which is pretty cool. I really don't understand how they're used, but um, pretty cool. Oh, there was one thing in another snapshot that was uh, I think it was like a new world creator. Like you put in codes in it you can make a world like a super flat world out of anything you want which that's pretty cool but you know everything is pretty cool in minecraft to me except for the new sounds which stink i hate them but i guess i'll, I'll grow to like them because you know the door sound was changed and for a little bit i was like eh, and now i, I really don't care at all but you know, I did have to drag myself, I'll be honest. I did have to drag myself to do this this video. Because I... Just for some reason, I just didn't want to. I don't want to play any games, really. I mean, at least record them. Like, I, I do play Battlefield 3. And League of Legends, sometimes. With my friends, but, you know... Um, I'm not that great at either of those games, so... I guess maybe that's what makes it fun. But... Even though Minecraft is such a chill game and I could just lean back, put the mic near my face, and just talk about random stuff. And what is this? I forget about that. Um, even though I could do that, still, I just, you know, for some reason, just not, not into it nowadays. I don't know why. I am really excited, though, about doing some real life videoing. It's going to be fun. Because I, I do remember some After Effects techniques from my montage making days. When I, Even though I didn't make any montages with After Effects that were actually up on my channel. I started making them, but I never finished them. And, um, you know, really, I'm hoping I like Black Ops 2. Because I just, I feel like I, I, need, a, I need a new first person shooter to play. I mean, like, multiplayer first-person shooter, not, like, Borderlands, like, RPG first-person shooter. And I don't, I just feel like Medal of Honor is not going to do it for me. It's just, there's just something about Medal of Honor. And, you know, I heard that the new one's better than the old ones, which is a good sign. But at the same time, um, I just, there's something about Medal of Honor that just doesn't stick with me. It just, it just doesn't. It's not Call of Duty, I think that's the problem. Like, Call of Duty definitely has that arc arcade first-person shooter 
game on lockdown. Like no one could really compete with them as far as that. But Battlefield, that's that's you can't really compare, you know? This Battlefield is is more of like a strategy based game where um, you can mess around and I have a lot of fun messing around in Battlefield. Um, but at the same time you can't really just run around, get into a quick game and then leave. You have to play for a a good bit. But uh yeah, I'm just hoping I like Black Ops too. That's really all I'm saying, and I'm hoping Daisy's fun, because Daisy will be the full release once there's no hackers and all that. That it's it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun times, good videos for my channel, and just all around, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. But I I haven't played Daisy in like three weeks, probably almost a month now, because it's just it's the hackers mixed in with the fact that it's the same map. And just over and over again, the same thing, and eh, it, just, it just gets boring. You know, I guess, you know, I, I'll probably be contradicting what I just said when Black Ops 2 comes out, because I'll be playing the same thing over and over again. Just just by buying Black Ops 2, I'm contradicting myself, because, you know, for the most part, nothing really changed in Call of Duty, and... That's what everyone says. Everyone says that nothing changed, and um, yeah, I guess you consider me c contradicting myself. But playing on on Chinaris over and over again does get boring. Even though Daisy is an awesome game, I'm just sick of getting killed by hackers. And once they get once they get th that on lockdown, it's gonna be good. But. Yeah, I mean, we didn't really do much this video, but I didn't want to make a really long video. I don't have really much time to, so, um, yeah, I'm just gonna just finish this up really quick. Now I'm about to run out of that shovel. I'm gonna have to go get another one. The shovel had efficiency and unbreaking. And that lasted me a long time. So if I could get efficiency or unbreaking again, that'll be good. So I'm gonna have to head over to the the whatever it's called, the XP grinder, and get myself some more XP because I need that shovel. Even though all my other tools could really act as shovels pretty well, especially my sword. My sword does a pretty good job. Oh wow, no. Um, go like this. Oh, I'll get that. Oh, wow. Pretty decent amount of coal underneath someone's house. This villager's gotta be pretty upset. He sees I come out with all this coal, make, make bank by selling this coal. And he's gonna be like, well, that was my coal. And yeah, that's how it's gonna happen. Um, there, ran out. So, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty short episode, I guess. I don't really rem remember how when I started. I'm looking at a clock right now. I don't know how long this was, but you know, every time I say it wasn't long, it turns out to be like half an hour. So, let's hope that's the case. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to make a lot more of these because I want to get up to episode 50 pretty quick. And then I'm going to have to figure out what to do for episode 50 because um, it's been over a year since I started this. And only at episode 50, so that's not that great. But uh, next time we shall continue on with our adventure. Just gotta put this in. I really don't need all that coal, but whatever. That's just gonna stay. So, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow me on Twitter. Leave a like and subscribe for some more. Because I will definitely be uploading more along with Borderlands 2. And finishing up Spec Ops line. I'm definitely gonna sit down and finally record that this weekend. 
just to get it over with, because I'm pretty close to the end, I think. And once I do that, I might do some multiplayer on there. But, yeah, I just want to get that over with so I could get ready for all the games that are coming out in a month. I think it isn't. I think Medal of Honor comes out in, like, exactly one month, so pretty close. So, until next time, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.